Have you ever wondered just how much your body can handle? How much alcohol could kill you? How long can you hold your breath before your brain shuts down? Or how much blood can you lose before it's too late? Today, we're going to explore the limits of the human body. We'll look at alcohol, caffeine, heat and cold, oxygen, blood loss, sleep deprivation, radiation, g-forces, and even extreme exercise. This isn't about superpowers, it's about survival. Let's start with something familiar, alcohol. We've all heard the phrase, one drink is fine, but where does it stop being fine? Doctors measure alcohol in the body using something called BAC, blood alcohol concentration. That's the percentage of alcohol in your bloodstream. At around 0.02 to 0.05%, you might feel more relaxed. Reaction times slow down. At 0.08%, you're legally drunk in most countries, and your driving ability is seriously impaired. Around 0.2%, things get dangerous. You may black out, stumble, and vomit. At 0.30%, many people lose consciousness entirely. And once you hit 0.40% or above, you're in the zone where the body can literally shut down. Coma, respiratory failure, and death become very likely. To put that into perspective, the average adult would need a large amount of hard liquor consumed quickly to get there. But binge drinking can push someone into lethal territory in just a few hours. The point is, alcohol poisoning is not rare. And the scary thing? It's often just a few drinks away when consumed too fast. Now let's flip to another common drug, caffeine. For most adults, up to about 400 milligrams per day is considered safe. That's around four small cups of coffee. But push the dose high enough and caffeine becomes toxic. The estimated lethal dose for most adults is around 10 grams about 25 times the daily safe limit. That doesn't sound easy to reach with coffee alone, but with concentrated caffeine powders or energy supplements, people have overdosed and died. Signs of caffeine overdose include a racing heart, seizures, and in extreme cases, cardiac arrest. So while coffee might feel harmless, the line between awake and alert and dangerous overdose is very real. Temperature is another clear limit. Your body works best around 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If your core temperature rises above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, you're in heat stroke territory. At that point, proteins in your cells begin to break down and organs can fail rapidly. Without treatment, heat stroke can kill within hours. On the flip side, if your core temperature falls below 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit, you enter hypothermia. At 32 degrees Celsius, you become confused and clumsy. At 28 degrees Celsius, you may lose consciousness. Below 24 degrees Celsius, death is common, though there are rare cases of survival thanks to medical interventions. Extreme heat or cold doesn't just make you uncomfortable, it literally rewrites how your body functions and pushes you toward the edge of survival. Here's a terrifying one. How long can you survive without oxygen? The answer is brutally short. Within 30 seconds of not breathing, most people lose consciousness. At around four minutes, permanent brain damage is likely. At six minutes without oxygen, death is often unavoidable. That's why CPR and rescue breathing are so critical, because every second counts. Blood keeps everything alive, so how much can you lose before you die? An average adult has about five liters of blood in their body. Losing 10 to 15% might just make you dizzy. At 20 to 30% loss, your blood pressure drops, your pulse skyrockets, and shock begins. At 40% or more, about two liters gone, survival without immediate treatment becomes very unlikely. That's why stopping bleeding is such a fundamental part of first aid. Sleep feels optional when you're pulling an all-nighter, but how long can you really stay awake? 
The record for intentional sleep deprivation is about 11 days. But after even 24 hours, your reaction times and focus are as impaired as someone who is legally drunk. Go without sleep longer and you'll face hallucinations, paranoia, immune problems, and eventually organ failure. There's also a rare genetic disease called fatal familial insomnia, where people literally cannot sleep, and within months, it's fatal. Sleep isn't a luxury. It's one of the body's non-negotiable limits. Radiation is another deadly frontier. Small doses are everywhere. Sunlight, airplane flights, even bananas. But high doses destroy living tissue. A dose above 0.3 gray can cause nausea and vomiting. At around 1 gray, bone marrow begins to fail. And between 3 to 5 gray in a short time, about half of exposed people will die without aggressive treatment. Push that to 10 gray or more, and death is almost certain, often within days. Ever wonder how much acceleration your body can handle? We measure this in Gs, multiples of Earth's gravity. At around 5 Gs, many untrained people will black out. Fighter pilots with training and special suits can handle up to 9 Gs for short bursts. Beyond that, blood can't reach the brain and consciousness is lost in seconds. Push much higher and the body itself begins to break down from the forces. Finally, what about exercise? Can you actually push your muscles so hard that they kill you? Yes. Extreme overexertion can lead to a condition called rhabdomyolysis, where muscle fibers literally break apart and flood the bloodstream with toxins. That can shut down the kidneys and be fatal if untreated. At the same time, the heart has its own limits. While sudden cardiac death during exercise is rare, it can happen, especially in people with hidden heart conditions. So, what are the limits of your body? They're closer than you might expect. Four minutes without oxygen, two liters of blood gone, a few degrees of heat or cold. The human body is tough, but it isn't indestructible. The good news? Knowing your limits and respecting them can keep you alive. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button, subscribe for more science of the human body, and let me know in the comments which limit should we explore in even more detail next. Thanks for watching, and remember, take care of your body. It's the only one you've got.